Welcome to the 100% shiny hunting locations or flying type Pokemon in the Teal Mass DLC. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps down below to find the exact one you may need. Make sure to check out the playlist because we have all the other hunting locations for all the Pokemon in the Teal Mass DLC. Make sure to also check out our Paudea playlist because there's everything from the base game in there as well. Now to make a shiny flying sandwich, you're going to need one prosciutto and then you're going to go ahead and get two salty herba mysticas. If you have any alternate sandwich recipes for the flying, feel free to comment that down below as all of you do a lot and I really do appreciate it and the comments do appreciate it. Also, you can use an encounter two sandwich that gives you very similar results. You're just missing a little bit more of the shiny encounters, but if you have a shiny charm, it should be good. Anyway, you should get sparkling power flying and encounter power flying level three. Also, you might need to zoom in for some of these Pokemon, so make sure to turn that zoom in feature on by going ahead and clicking the system settings, scrolling all the way down to system, then from here, go to zoom, turn that on, and when you double tap your home button in game real fast, you should be able to see in the grass and zoom out with Y and X. All right, let's get hunting. All right, let's go over Hoot Hoot and Knocked Owl. First, there's going to be two locations that I like going to to hunt these, but they're only going to happen and take place at night when you're looking to hunt these. So the first one's going to be all the way up in the Gracious Stones area. This is going to be all the way up north. And at nighttime, you only get Hoot Hoot and Knocked Owl. Nothing else will spawn up here, so it should be easy to picnic reset or just walk around the area to despawn and respawn. If you get a little bit closer to the water, if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, you might get a cram showing up here and there. Um... Whoa, so I was saying the next location is going to be at the forest, but on the way, I guess I bumped into something. <laughs> I will take it. The shiny look is unreal. So I guess what I'm saying this is you can find a bunch of them roaming around in the Kitakami wildlands. But the problem is in Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to run into a bunch of Gligers here. So most likely Violet players will have a better time hunting in the Kitakami wildlands. But the main spot that I really wanted to talk to you about was the forest over here or the woods. In the woods here, the only flying type Pokemon that will spawn are also going to be Knocked Owls and Hoot Hoots and Scarlet players don't have to worry about any Cramorant's showing up here because, well, that this is the only Pokemon that does show up. And you only have to be aware of the shinies that happen to show up here. The spawns are great. Nothing else interferes with you. So you should be able to run through this entire area and eventually get the shiny you need. This is only going to happen at nighttime in all these overworld locations. Now, the next location is going to work regardless of it being nighttime or daytime. And it's going to be located right over here in this spot. So just mark your map here. This is right by Kitakami Hall and this little green patch of grass. So put that on your map, mark it. The front should look like this. And when you go inside, you'll be greeted by a ton of hoot hoots. And sometimes you get a little knocked owl showing up. But look at the amount of hoot hoots. It's about like 15 of them that show up. And really, all you have to do is just exit out of here. I like to run back so they all completely despawn. I just go over to this spot here. And then I just go right back. And once I'm back in there, I'm going to get another 15 showing up. I find this better than just doing picnic resets in here, but that's totally up to you on what you have to do. And you get a whole new group of spawns. So you can keep doing that until you get your shiny. Just remember just to go in and out, despawn them or go enough of a distance where you can despawn them out and then just simply head back in over and over. And without any uh, problems, you should be able to get a shiny easily. So good luck hunting your shiny hoot hoots and noctowls in the nighttime locations and in the cave. The next Pokemon we're gonna be hunting for is going to be Yanma. And for this, I found a really nice location when you have the flying sandwich and it's gonna be right in front of Masui town, right about this area. We're gonna be utilizing the town reset method and all we're gonna be looking for is a blue one. That's it, that's what the shiny is. And you can see we get a bunch that spawn over here on the left of us. We get a bunch that spawn straight ahead of us. And we get a few that spawn on the right. And the cool part about this is when you're right by Masui Town, you just have to hop into Masui Town. All of those guys will despawn. You pop back over here on Kitakami Road by this water area and you get a whole bunch of spawns again. So that's a very good amount of spawns without you barely moving. And you can cycle through this really fast by just going back like this and coming back here. And that is probably the fastest way that you'll be able to get uh, Yanmas without wasting your time opening up a picnic because town resets are the easiest and fastest way. But I also know it could be boring for some people. You can also head over to Wisteria Pond. It's a decent spot where all the Yanmas spawn. This is another one that you can picnic reset on or just walk around the entire area in order to get the Yanma that you need. 
Again, just look for a blue one. Now, while we are at Wisteria Pond, there is going to be a Pokemon that only is going to be here in more numbers at night. The reason why is because Yanma and Yanmega have completely slowed down because they are a daytime spawn, which means we have more opportunities to get ourselves some Oricorios that spawn in this area rather than Yanma spawning all over the place. So this is going to be a really good spot to get it. This is what the shiny looks like. The cool part about Oricorio is once you get a shiny, you can convert it to any single Oricorio form you want. And they're going to be hanging around mostly by these trees and they do spawn in groups uh, just by giving it an item in the game. It's that simple. So you can focus here if you want to hunt. The best suggestions for Oricorios while you're over here is just basically go for picnic resets. If you see a group of them, it's the best way to despawn them all out just like this. And then when you put away your picnic there we go there's groups of them that spawn in again so it's uh pretty much that simple to hunt oricorio so good luck hunting it you can also do this with the ghost sandwich so it's not exclusive to just the flying sandwich so feel free to go about it any way you choose the next pokemon we're going to be hunting is going to be vullaby and this pokemon spawns during the day and the best spot in my opinion is going to be the paradise barrens to hunt this pokemon down here's the real issue though for pokemon violet it's going to be a lot easier hunting Vullaby down because the only other Pokemon that spawn here besides it is going to be Bombardier. But in Pokemon Scarlet, you're going to actually be having a bunch of Gligers also mixed up in this whole equation. Now, I've noticed that the more you stand by these rocky areas, you'll get better spawns for Vullaby as opposed to running down the center. I don't know if that's just a myth or just that's just what's happening to me, but I noticed staying on rocks does a better job in spawning these guys over here. Now for the shiny, you're just going to be looking for a much more deeper pink colored one. It's going to stand out completely from the other ones when you do see it, but if it's too far back, you might miss it. So make sure you zoom in if there's any that are further back in the background. That way you can just make sure that you don't miss out on it. And um, that's pretty much going to be it. So it's really a dual hunting area if you want it to be or trying to hunt bombardiers. So there you go. This is what bombardier shiny looks like as well. And enjoy your dual hunting spot. It should be pretty easy to get. You most likely will get more bombardiers showing up shiny than you would Vullabies. But you know what? It is what it is. And this is the best spot we can do it. And remember, daytime only for Vullaby. Now, while we're at the Paradise Barrens, let's just talk about Gligar in general because you'll be hunting this if you're in Pokemon Scarlet and it's version exclusive exclusive to Scarlet. Gligar, like we mentioned, can be found in the Paradise Barrens with the Flying Sandwich, but it's obviously going to be with other Pokemon. Now, another location that you can get Gligar is also going to be in the Kitakami Wildlands. So as you see in the Kitakami Wildlands with the Flying Sandwich, you'll get a bunch of Gligar as well as Bombardier again. If you want to solo hunt specifically Gligar, you're going to have to be in the Kitakami Wildlands while you are eating a Ground Sandwich. Here's some footage from the Ground Sandwich video showing Gligar and it's the only spawn that happens within this area. So it's going to make it a lot easier to solo out completely. Bombardiers are going to be really annoying. They're going to be almost everywhere where you're trying to look for specific flying Pokemon in here. So stick to ground if you want a Gligar. It's not impossible to get a Gligar with a flying sandwich as I actually got one. But just keep in mind, if you want to solo hunt it, go check out the ground video. And there's a lot of other ground Pokemon you can get with it. If you want shiny luck like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, it works. Just check the comments. Now this next hunt is going to be for Starly and its evolution line. But honestly, it was already in Paldea. Wasn't that exciting to be in Teal Mask. But you know what? We have a town reset and maybe you don't have it and you just want to hunt in this location. Head over to Loyalty Plaza over here and just stand right in front of the area where you can tap the fence by moving towards it. I say tap a lot. People don't like me when I say tap. Let's say move. You want to move over back to this fence, and then you want to head back over from Loyalty Plaza back out here to the Apple Hills. At that point, you'll start to notice that you will get spawns. And the big thing you're looking for is a much more brown looking color to separate it out from the regular one because this is what the shiny is going to look like so anytime you can see or you have a chance to look just do a zoom in trick if it's not showing up as the much brown color pixels then you're good you don't have to worry about it and you can keep just going back and forth until you happen to see your starly that you need luckily for us all these pokemon are dual typing in this video so other sandwiches also work if you want to hunt them at the fallen horn area where if you pop a normal sandwich 
you're going to be able to find a bunch of Starly and its evolution Saravias just flying around everywhere. Due to it being normal, that helps us out a lot. And you basically just have to swim around the entire area and you'll get family spawns of all these Pokemon everywhere and you're guaranteed to bump into it. I mean, just look how many of them are in this area. So if you're looking for that and you want way better spawns than, than just like a town reset, well, come over here with the normal sandwich. Also, there's a lot of other Pokemon you can get with the normal sandwich too. So make sure to check out that video. So if you want a really cool town reset at nighttime using the flying sandwich, you can come over to the Kitakami Hall area over here and just pop out at the top by the Oni Mountain border and you'll get a bunch of Noibats showing up over here. Now, Noibats are not new to this DLC because they were previously in Paudea as well but if you haven't gotten one this is a pretty good spot especially for town resets now this is only going to work at night for noi bats in grassy areas so just come in and out the shiny is going to look like this this also works with a dragon sandwich so it's not exclusive to the flying sandwich it should be really easy to spot a shiny as the color is completely different and you can just see all the spawns as soon as you come out so despawn them constantly and then come back now there is also another location that's going to exist during the day and night and that's going to be up on oni mountain so we're just going to go up this way so let me just show you where that is so follow Follow me up this mountain for location two. It passes laggy area. Go through Oni's Mall area and boom, we have Noi Bats that show up. So on the rocky surfaces, Noi Bats will always show up when you have the flying sandwich as well as the dragon sandwich. And what you can do in this area is just kind of rotate around. They will not disappear within this area. So you can be focused on getting yourself a Noi Bat here at all times. Good luck hunting a Noi Bat during the day and the night and you should get yourselves a Noivern. All right, great. Let's move on. Now, if you head over to the east of Gracious Stone, so kind of in this water body right over here in between the woods and the Gracious Stones, you're going to find yourself in a spot where you you do get yourself some nice Gyarados spawns. You're going to get yourself some masculine spawns as well. And during the daytime, you're going to have Yanma spawning here. So it's a little chaotic in the day, but at nighttime, it should be a little better to start hunting Gyarados in this area, as well as getting masculine. Now, Gyarados, all you're going to be looking for is a red shiny. But of course, it's a lot easier if you go to our Paudea videos, our water video in Paudea, and go check out the Gyarados location, because seriously, that one is insane. There are so many Gyarados that spawn all the way north of the map in Paudea. Like, just look at this. There's so many. So if you want to hunt a Gyarados, I really suggest not doing it in Kitakami. If you're trying to look for an easier hunt for Masquerains, I suggest coming to this exact same area, but at nighttime in the Gracious Stones, but you have to have a bug sandwich. You're going to be getting a bunch of Masquerains over here, which is going to be a lot easier as well as its pre-evolution. So keep that in mind when you're walking around here. If you're not doing it, um, you're going to get a little bit of a mix with other Pokemon. So just keep that in mind when it comes to hunting down this Pokemon. So stick to bug sandwich to make it more efficient. If you want to hunt down some Gyarados, there's a nice dual hunting spot, which is going to be the exact same location as our other things, which is going to be to the east of Gracious Stone. So just Cramorants and Gyarados everywhere over at this location. Now, another really fun spot to hunt Cramorants is going to be all the way at Kitakami Hall, but it's going to be at this little corner right over here. So make your way to this corner. And then once you reach this little spot here, you go on to face the right and drop down. Down. I like to call this spot the roulette area where you're going to be able to spot a couple different Pokemon. So here's the problem with the flying sandwich. Look at all the chaotic amounts of Pokemon we get in Pokemon Scarlet. Literally Gligars, Hoot Hoots, Swanas. It's nutty. And then you can back up, tap this area. You come back, you get a whole new group of spawns. You also get Noibats. It's chaotic. Now the secret to hunting here is in Pokemon Violet, you're going to be bumping into a lot of ducklets during the daytime. As well as in Pokemon Scarlet, you'll be bumping into a lot of ducklets but at nighttime in pokemon Scarlet with the water sandwich you're going to be running into a lot more cramorants when you do the resets and go back and forth from this area so having a water sandwich is going to be extremely efficient in order to hunt both of these shiny pokemon but for those who are playing pokemon scarlet and want a big roulette of pokemon well you can just come here and just go back and forth with the flying sandwich if you're just pretty much hunting any flying pokemon you may see and really don't care which shiny pokemon you're getting it, it is a very fun spot and it's a very fun place to experiment with other various sandwiches. So there you go. Here's a great spot for Scarlet players. Violet players, you're a lot more limited and the pool is a lot more less. So Scarlet players, make sure to trade them over. Now that you've got all your flying Pokemon, you should check out this video over here.